composition of gases in air gases are everywhere you may have heard about the atmosphere the atmosphere is an envelope of gases that surrounds the earth oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide hydrogen etc are some gases gases are the state of matter in which molecules are more loosely packed they have lots of space in between them and can move about freely in any directions so gases have no definite shape volume if you keep a lighted incense stick in one corner of the room its smell spreads in other parts of the room because the molecules of gases move freely and fill up the entire space mixture of gases in air air is a mixture of gases it is not made up of any single element the composition of air varies from place to place the major constituents are oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide water vapor dust and smoke oxygen we inhale air all plants animals and human beings breathe in oxygen present in air even plants and animals living in water use oxygen dissolved in water fish take in oxygen dissolved in water through their gills animals living in water use the air dissolved in water aquatic animals use this air to survive the oxygen present in air is used for respiration all living things take up oxygen present in air this oxygen combines with food to release carbon dioxide and a lot of energy the process is called respiration the energy produced helps us to undertake various activities apart from respiration all fuels burn in the presence of oxygen to release carbon dioxide plants need air to grow as they take oxygen during respiration the air is present between soil particles the presence of air in soil can be shown by adding water to dry soil you will notice some insects or earthworms moving in the soil they take the air present in the soil for respiration thus oxygen is also referred to as the life giving gas 21% of the air is oxygen when we constantly take in oxygen then how is the balance maintained in the air it is because of the plants plants give out oxygen during photosynthesis it is this oxygen that helps in burning to prove this we perform a simple activity nitrogen when we blow air on a candle it is put off this means that there is a component in air that does not support combustion this component is nitrogen nitrogen gas makes up 78% of air this gas does not help in burning of a substance nitrogen is used to make fertilizers these fertilizers are added to the soil which help in the growth of plants as they contain vital minerals nitrogen gas is also used in food packaging to keep the food fresh carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is the gas that we give out during breathing when anything burns the gas produced is carbon dioxide 0.03% of the air is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is taken in by green plants during photosynthesis humans plants and animals take in oxygen gas for respiration and release carbon dioxide this gas does not support burning and hence used in fire extinguisher water vapor the amount of water vapor present in the air is not fixed it varies from place to place in coastal areas the air has greater percentage of water vapor whereas in deserts the amount of water vapor 
is less in air. Take a glass and fill it with ice cubes. Leave it for 2 to 3 minutes. What do you observe? Do you see droplets of water on the glass? This is nothing but water vapor which is present in the air. The water vapor on coming in contact with the cool surface condenses into droplets of water. Dust and smoke. If we observe a fine beam of light entering a dark room, we see fine particles of dust in it. Thus, air contains dust particles. The percentage of dust in air varies from place to place. A crowded street has a higher percentage of dust and smoke in comparison to an open place like your garden. The air we breathe in also contains dust which is filtered by the fine hairs inside the nostrils. Mucus present in the inner lining of the nose also helps us in getting rid of the dust. Thus, it is always advisable to breathe through the nose rather than the mouth. Hot air is lighter than cold air. Due to the sunlight, air is heated easily. On heating, air become lighter and move upwards and expands. This is called expansion of air. When air expands, it becomes lighter and it rises up and cold air rushes to replace it. This causes winds and storms. Have you ever walked on a beach on a hot day? The sand is very hot but the water is cool. Try an experiment. Take two bowls. Fill one bowl with sand and the other one with water. Put them in the sunlight for one hour. You will find that the sand is hotter than the water. Now, put two bowls in a shady room for one hour. Now, you will find that the sand is cooler than the water. It shows that the sand heats up faster than the water during the daytime. It cools faster than the water in the absence of the sunlight. This natural phenomenon causes land and sea breezes. Land and sea breeze. In the coastal areas, during the day, the wind blows from the sea to the land. The heat of the sun heats the air above the land quickly than the air above the sea. So, the hot air above the land rises up and the cool air present above the sea rushes to replace the hot air above the land. It is called sea breeze. It blows during the day. At night, the air above the water is warmer than the air above the land. So, the hot air above the sea moves up and the cool air from the land rushes to replace the hot air above the sea. It is called land breeze. Land breeze blows during the night. Ventilation. Ventilation is a system that allows fresh air to enter a room or a building. Fresh air is also good for health. A place such as house, building, etc. should always be well ventilated. For proper ventilation, a building must have enough windows and doors. The windows must be ideally placed opposite each other. This helps in cross ventilation. Fresh air enters and the stale air goes out. Ventilators are also necessary inside a building. Ventilators are small openings in the walls just below the ceiling which help in proper circulation of air. Know this, in hot air balloons, a burner heats the air inside. This causes the particles of air to gain more energy and so they move faster and farther apart from one another, pushing at the sides of the balloon.